Good morning. We are the Life Motivators. We are entrepreneurs that have shifted our life into a whole new energy of thinking, our words that we give to ourselves, the way that we have worked our financials, how to re plan and schedule our life a little bit better, and how to start journaling to write down the things that we have been seeing and understanding and wanting and the opportunities that have been coming up, but not knowing how to harness it. But yet, with once we learned how to start masterminding with other people to have communication and chat about the different things that we want and that we're talking about, the ideas that have popped up and the perspectives from other people to give us more creative ideas to take our co-creative minds this morning, which we call a mastermind, and we get in here each day to give each other inspiration for the success and the achievement that they're wanting to do for their today. Their goals that they're working for to move their self forward and what they're ready that is coming for. So what are we doing for each day for ourselves and for to help and assist everybody within here as we chat and communicate is we're getting ready to be ready, ready for the opportunities, ready for the next adventure, ready for the next journey, ready for the next situation that may pop up, ready for the next thing that we can learn, ready for us to have a better physical body, ready for us to get the good nourishment within our life, and just ready to enjoy this beautiful day that we have come here to be happy with. Have the enjoyment of life because we expect that today when we wake up. Because when we went to bed last night, there was an expectancy when we went to bed because we said thank you for everything that we accomplished yesterday because yesterday is gone. So all we can do is say thank you for what we did then and move forward with the things that we learned from yesterday. Most people call, oh, I failed in this. No, you didn't fail. Oh, I wasn't a perfect person. None of us are perfect. We're all perfectly imperfect, and we're moving along in this journey of our life to make ourselves a better person. So we can be perfect in some things that we are trying to accomplish within our life. And a lot of people say, well, that's not perfect. Well, it's perfect for me. It's perfect for my timing, perfect for what I have going on. You have your ways of doing things that is perfect in your life. And I am happy that you're happy with that. Be happy for me that I am happy with my perfectness that I am giving out because I'm giving out my best energy, my best vibrations, my best love, my best skill set, my best knowledge that I have learned to bring back to the world today. And as I'm coming in here each day to give you all some of this little knowledge of how you can take those new words and take those habits that you have formed that you are disliking in your life now and how you can start shifting those habits to bring them to something that you makes you happy and only you can make happy because it all comes from within the love that you have, the happiness that you have, you were born with it. It wasn't nowhere else, but within you. And today you have it just like you did yesterday. So as you open your eyes today and you know, Hey, I'm here to rock out another awesome day because I am bringing my light, my power for the world to see. I am bringing my voice for the world to hear. I'm going to take my physical activities and I'm going to go take care of the things that I need to take care of that are the highest priority within my life. And as I'm flowing throughout my life, I have to co-mingle with people in this world. Why? Because there, you cannot step outside your house without seeing a human being. There's 7 billion people on this planet and we have all come here to co-create together, not be snides and throw remarks or judgment at each other on, but it's to smile and say hello and have a great day. Yeah, that hair looking beautiful today, Vanita. You know, I like that shirt that you're wearing, Shannon. Things like that. Giving people good conversations instead of trying to bash them down to the bottom of your shoes. We inspire each other within here each day. We give each other love within here each day because we have found that the loving of each other and nourishing each other and telling each other we want you to have the best within your life. We want you to succeed in everything that you desire. Don't try to put yourself on my level or any other person that you see on this screen because we have been running our journeys and the miles in our shoes that we wanted to go on, our pathways. Blaze your path, run your journey, climb your mountains, achieve your accomplishments, mark off your goal list because you're not living mine, you're living yours. As you got up today, you didn't come out here and say, hey, 
let's go see what Thomas has on for the list for us to do today. No, that wasn't part of it. You went to bed last night with your own little list, your own little goals. You're getting up today and you're looking in the mirror and you're reminding yourself of the things that you have to go over on that list. And I'm telling y'all, y'all need to start writing them because as we get older, we're not going to remember everything that we need to do every day and that we want to go do and go do. <laughs> so we power of the pen for us, power of the pen. Start journaling, writing it down because it's going to turn into a new story. Guess what? It's going to turn into a new biography. Then it's going to turn into a bestseller because it's going to tell the story of where you were at and how you started all this energy and emotion and vibrations and thought process and how you was able to focus better in your life and where you truly wanted to go and the accomplishments now that you want to take care of within life. And you're going to go for it. Benjamin Franklin, 10,000 times he tried to build that light bulb and couldn't get that condescent light bulb right. But he said, I stayed diligent and dedicated because I knew I seen it. I knew it could happen. It was at 10,000 in one time. So he went back. So keep going and keep trying. Keep active with those creative ideas. They're coming to you in visions for a reason. Don't think they're just crazy daydreams. Don't think they're crazy ideas. The crazy they are, the more power that is given to you to make them happen. You keep seeing them, then keep trying to make something happen for it. Open those visions up. Take that creative mindset. Start building those things that you're seeing and going for. Be ready for those opportunities that are stepping right there at that door waiting for you. All they're wanting is it's kind of like those electric doggy doors. They open up when that dog gets close. Well, guess what? That door will open once you get closer to it because you, the closer you get to that door, the more ready you are for everything that's waiting for you. All those ideas, all those things that you want to do, the businesses that you want to build, the traveling that you want to do, the time freedom that you want back in your life, being at the birthday parties and being able to go to the weddings, being able to do something more for your community, taking your life with a camera and traveling around the country was one of my passions and things that I was like, how can I make this all work for me to where I don't have to be locked in, in this refinery. And I finally found it three years ago, but I put the thought to it. I put the process to it. And then I attracted the people that I was had in my thoughts. And as I did, those people started coming to me. And then now you start seeing more of those within here because they had things that they wanted to take, and their passions that they wanted to build to something bigger. And that's why you see all these faces on here every morning and many more at different times. Because we have the energy of something more within our life that we want to take to that next level and know that we have the belief in it so much that nobody can stop us or is going to deter us from it. Because we're going to keep rocking it out because that's what we feel and we believe. We know that Everything that we have has proven results in the things that we're doing and we're moving forward with it because it has been around for thousands of years. It's that law of attraction of love. That's why we all talk about this in the morning time. That's why we all get up and hold on to that in the morning saying, you know what? Thank you for loving us. Thank you for letting us be here. Thank you for this time that we have. Thank you for this roof. Thank you for this physical, beautiful body that I have. Thank you for making me so handsome. Thank you for letting me look so good in this body that I can get out here and rock this every day. Thank you for this voice that you have given me today to be able to come on here and communicate with all these community people right here. Because the love that you have given us on a day-to-day -day basis has been more than I can ever say thank you for. There's not enough of them, T-wise. It's a beautiful day to be in here. It's a beautiful day to spend our time together and co-create. I'm going to open it up to the floor. Sure. I'll jump on. <laughs> I'll uh, say a few things here. Go ahead, Chris. I was talking earlier about uh, um, just some of the abundance I had this weekend with family and how nice it is to reconnect with, uh, with the ones closest to you. And... Um, it, uh, well, my cousin's or my husband's cousin, he's a younger guy. He just broke up with his girlfriend. So he was a little sad, sad and down. And so we were all kind of making a point of just talking with him and really trying to 
boost him up and, you know, just help bring his, his attitude a little bit around. And by the end of the night, he was laughing and joking with us. And, uh, and then it got me to just kind of thinking about uh, how important I, I truly feel that gratitude and thankfulness is in our lives. And I was sitting back watching everybody laugh and joke, talking about memories from the past and, uh, you know, things that when grandma was pregnant with the auntie and what would happen and we're talking about silly dreams and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, gratitude is when memory is stored in the heart and not in the mind. And to really hone in on that and to realize what gratitude truly is, is this, when you look at something and you truly feel it from the center of your core being and, and you know, that it's stored in your heart, you feel it in your heart, you feel it kind of radiating through you. And it's not only a memory of a time, you know, like remembering it is all great to, to, to do, but when you, when you truly feel grateful for the, that moment that you cherish with your family, it's, it's definitely above and beyond anything else out there. Um, it's riches um, and complaint is poverty. So to, you know, just show the gratitude for all the riches around you and don't complain. Yeah, bad things happen. Yeah, my engine light is on my car, you know, and, and I know that I, I need to get it to the doctor. <laughs> but, you know, I need to wait for a form of abundance so that I can physically be able to go and do that. And so I'm sitting here in gratitude right now being thankful that that key's still turning and, <laughs> and that engine is still revving up. So looking at the minor things in life, you know, and just really truly being grateful for what you have and, and, uh, and making sure that you not only think it, you say it, do it. Just helps everything else grow. Did it freeze? Did you freeze up or did I? No, I think we're okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, guys, another beautiful day within here. Miss Shannon is having to take care of things today with uh, her new creations that she's making in her home in Tennessee. Brother Julio is out today, and Miss Ashley is taking care of the children today. It is a beautiful day to get in here and co-create with all of y'all and have this energy each day that we do. Keep up the awesomeness that you have within your life, everything that you're working for, that you are bringing your heart with, your passion, your love, your desire. Go for it. Keep moving forward. Stay dedicated and just know that all the opportunities that are coming within your life, you have to be ready and open and listening and wanting something more within your life at all times. You know, some of us get content and happy and complacent in some of the places where we go, but just know that there's always something around the corner. There's always something that's going to be evolving. There's something always that's going to be new. There's always something that is going to be created that's going to be fun. And it could be fun for you. You could be perfect at it. You never know unless you try. That's the biggest part. Taking action. The big A. Big A today. Taking action on the Mondays. Taking action seven days a week, actually. Because the sun rises and the sun sets. So take that beauty. Take that energy. Take that vibration that that vitamin D gives you within your body along with the vibrations that you've already have and go out there and take action for what you want. No matter what it is, whether you're building a business, whether you're doing, you know, online, whether you're doing brick and mortar, whether you're going door to door, whether you're whatever it is, just go do it. Take action for it. Make it happen. Have fun with it. And y'all have an awesome day. I've got many things I need to take care of today. And I'm thankful that I can. Love and appreciate you all.